All right, so got my best friend over here. I'm gonna have her demonstrate for you guys on how to open the rear Falcon door manually. This test, I'm only gonna have her, I'm gonna show it to her only for the simple fact that I wanna see how easy it would be for her. I'm gonna show her how to do the, the doors on the, on the screen. So I just want to see how much of a difficult time or if any, that she'll have in a case of an emergency, I want you to read this, opening the interior doors with no power. So if, let's say we were in an accident with this car, you're driving, your daughter's in the back seat, and you need to get her out of the car through the Falcon door. I mean, given if you could grab her and bring her through the front door, it would probably be the most ideal thing. However, if that's not an option, you got to get back there and pull her out because she's in her car seat or whatever the case may be. And you got to get back there. Pretty much, this is what Tesla tells you to do. If you can see it, you can, you can kind of look at the door panels and see how the speaker cover looks on there. So in the back, pretty much, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go back there. You're going to have to pull that cover off that's on there. And then there's a little, uh, that doesn't really expand, but there's a little cable in there that you'd have to pull. And that's what releases the rear door for it to open. So this test right now is pretty much just to see how you will do and react in this situation. And to make it be real and believable what i'm gonna have you do is one reach over crawl back there do whatever it is that you feel is necessary in order to be able to <clears throat> to facilitate this project so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say you know just go and I'm gonna, i just want to see how long it's going to take you i want to know what issues you hear or what issues you find i'm gonna roll down the windows too so i can put the camera back there and, and catch what you're doing so are you tracking what I want? Yes, sir. Okay, so you're not gonna do that back right because I already did it, but I want you to do the back. Uh, I want you to do the back right, not the back left. So <clears throat> let me hop out and then I'll go ahead and give you a moment and go ahead. Go back there, pretend it's an emergency. You're trying to get back there. Hey, you ain't got time to be adjusting seats and stuff. about feeling like if you're breaking it just you the, the whole purpose here is it's an emergency you got to get out this damn car immediately there's a latch hold on is it this Oop. there you go pull on that all right now push the door open you got pull on that latch and then push the door open at the same time there you go push the door open so you, you it's an emergency situation, so you got to get that door open. <laughs> so as a female and in a situation where you needed to pop this off just now, how confident and how did you feel about having to pop that off? Um, a little scary because like you said, it's a lot of resistance. So I felt like I was going to cause more damage than anything. And then also too the lever doesn't make it very apparent so that's why I mean, if you weren't here i wouldn't have known i would have probably pulled on several things prior to that one but yeah it's not as clear as you think but and it's not as simple to push either once you actually have it loose because i didn't realize you had to pull and push at the same time i thought you just pull it and that was it, it just pop off but clearly not yeah so you got to pull and push so a pretty interesting setup, but I mean, in the case of an emergency, that's something good to know. And it's crazy because I think to myself, not a lot of owners realize that there are directions like that in order to help you be able to get out of a car in an emergency situation. Yeah. So um, I know the Model S has levers um, that, pop, that pop underneath the door that you pull and that's what opens the Model S's. But for the Model X, for the Falcon doors, that's how you have to open them. Mm. So in an emergency situation, if you can't drag your kid out the front, you gotta get back here and, and pop it open that way. Or let's say the front door is jammed because the front door got hit by something, you gotta pull back here and then and get out this yeah. way. I will say though, you better, because I know with the car seat, it'll probably make it even more of a challenge because it takes up a lot of space. So even, so if you have more than one kid that's in a car seat, it's gonna be more difficult because to try to reach through here and shift people is gonna be even more of a challenge, especially if you don't have that bandwidth to push the door open. There you go. 
All right, well, thank you very much for helping me do this project. I appreciate it. Now you got to put my car back together. Oh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>